do me for dinner tomorrow and anyway I'm new in town I don't want to leave a trail of bodies not yet anyway <laughs> so shh sh- just go to sleep close your eyes come on close your eyes That's right, close your eyes. Shh. Shh. <laughs> That's a good little bat. You'll wake up tomorrow. And you find yourself in my place. <laughs> Do you remember me from last night? Oh, what's the matter? You got a headache? Is everything hazy? You're not seeing straight yet. <laughs> oh, don't worry, you will. You'll see perfectly fine soon, don't worry. <laughs> Do you remember my voice though? Does it ring a bell? <laughs> hmm? Ah, you're starting to see me now, aren't you? <laughs> do I look familiar? I do, don't I? Mm-hmm, that's right, I'm the woman from the bar. <laughs> oh, it's so nice when they recognize you. <laughs> oh, you look in pain. Does your neck hurt? Well, I guess it would do. After last night. By the way, you tasted delicious. But I went against my instincts of killing you last night and brought you home. Normally I would eat you on the spot, but I'm new in town, you see, and I don't want to leave a trail of bodies. If I leave a trail of bodies, then there's going to be police and investigations, and then people will get suspicious of each other, and I don't want to do that right now. I want to keep a low profile, but a girl's got to eat. <laughs> oh, sh- doesn't matter how much you struggle, you're not getting out of those chains. And anyway, I'm only keeping you around for a little while longer. So, those chains won't be on you for long, I assure you. But, they'll be on you long enough. Oh, look. Are you getting scared? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Feed me that fear of yours. Come on. I can see it in your eyes. I can feel it. What do I mean? Well, the more you get scared, the more that it radiates off your body, and I can feel the vibrations through the air. 
and I can see the fear in your eyes and it looks so good. <laughs> You know, by now you should have guessed what I am. So, tell me, what am I? Come on, tell me. Hmm? <laughs> That's right, yes, you got it. I'm a vampire. And you are going to be my meal. You did me for a snack last night, but, well, didn't quench me that much. So you are going to quench me tonight. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't beg, don't beg. Shh, shh, shh. Begging doesn't suit me. Even though I do find it amusing, but... Begging for your life is not going to stop me from doing what I'm going to do. See, I have no qualms about taking a human's life. It doesn't bother me at all. You're just the next long line of victims that I've had in my, oh, many, many, many centuries. So... Stop your begging, because it's not going to do anything. It's just going to make me enjoy doing it even more. <laughs> you smell even better since I've told you what I plan to do. I mean, have you had a good life up until now? Have you done everything that you wanted to do? I hope so. Because you're not getting a second chance at doing them again. <laughs> oh, shh, 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 shh. Just look at me. Come on. Oh, shh, shh, shh. You're not gonna move. You are not going to do anything. Going to be very good for me. <laughs> and you're not gonna say a word. You're not gonna be able to fight me. Well, not that you can in chains. <laughs> so, keep staring at me. That's a good one. Don't worry. I promise. I will make this quick. I will make this quick and painless. You won't feel a thing. It'll just feel like you're slipping away into a nice, long sleep. You won't feel anything, I promise. Shh. You won't feel anything. It'll feel near the end, I promise you. <laughs> That's it. Keep staring at me. Good little one. Accept your fate. Accept your fate of what's to come. This is your fault. You're too trusting. And you got drunk around the wrong female. Maybe in your next life you'll be more careful. <laughs> Shh. Now, let's start. No point delaying the inevitable, is there? <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> That's right. Shh. Just close your eyes and give in. Just close your eyes and give in. Close your eyes and give in. Go for a long, long sleep. You're getting weaker and weaker. Your body is getting weak. You will give in to the gentle cradling of death that awaits you. Close your eyes and give in to it. It's nice to see you again. I knew that I'd see you soon, but I didn't know it'd be this soon. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. You brought me a bottle of wine to welcome me properly? That's so generous of you. You know what, I've got an idea. How about you come back in an hour's time? with this lovely bottle of wine that you were going to give me as being your new neighbor. And we can make a night of it. We'll sit down, we'll crack it open together, have a few drinks, get a takeaway in, and maybe even watch some movies. Does that sound good to you? <sighs> Great. I would invite you in now, but I've got a deadline that I need to take care of, and then I need to take the trash out, and, well, I need to go and take a bath. I've had a very busy day, so I want to be nice and fresh before I have company. So if you come back in an hour, I should be finished with my deadline and everything else I need to be finished with. Great. Well, I hope you like Chinese. You do? Excellent. Well, I'll order that in then, and I'll see you in an hour's time. If there's any movies that you would like me to see, you can bring them with you. <laughs> okay, then I'll see you then. <laughs> wow, that was a very surprising turn of events. I didn't expect him to turn up with a bottle of wine, but I can have two meals tonight, that would be even better. And by bringing him in to get to know him a bit more, I'll know exactly how I can use him and how useful he can be to me. <laughs> oh, today has just got even better. <laughs> but oh yes. Let's go take care of that deadline. Well, little one, you were very good while I was away. I'm glad you stayed so quiet. Because if you had made one noise, then I would have made your death extremely violent and painful. <laughs> but, since you've been good, I'm going to end it quickly, like I said. 
Besides, I've got some things after you that I need to take care of as well. Before my next door neighbor comes to welcome me properly. <laughs> so why would I need to keep you as a pet when I can have him? And anyway, with him living next door, it saves me the problems of keeping him down in the basement. <laughs> anyway, little one, you better say goodnight now. It's been nice having this little time with you, but our time, like everything else in this world, comes to an end. So, say goodnight, my sweet sorrow. <laughs>